Hey guys, it's Michael, and welcome to the channel. Hey, today I want to talk just a little bit about Immortals Bistro. Uh, this restaurant can be found on Carnival Ships, the Mardi Gras, Celebration, and the Jubilee. This is an excellent restaurant. I have covered it briefly in one of my previous videos, but I think it deserves a little more than that. And also, I had said that... Uh, it kind of tied with me for first place as far as my favorite restaurant, with the other one being Chibang. Well, kind of had a change of heart, guys. Uh, after thinking about it, I ate it. I ate it. Uh, it was almost every day, and I didn't eat at Chibang every day. And the other difference is, uh, Chibang was covered in the cost of your cruise. It no longer is for from what I understand for, for many of the ships. So, um, real quick, I would like to uh, look at this real quick and show you uh, what you can get at Emeralds. Now, the prices are, wow, it's not included, but the prices are like dirt cheap. I mean, they got stuff starting at three bucks. Uh, first thing I got was uh, the barbecue shrimp and this is something, guys, that's getting hard to find, for me anyway, in my area. Now, I'm not talking about grilled shrimp. I mean, the actual barbecue shrimp. Such a good flavor. It's so good. And theirs was delicious. Next up, shrimp scampi. Now, on this one, you can see they brought it out in a little iron skillet with it still bubbling. It came with the bread. Oh, this was really, really good. I went back for this one more than once, guys. And then, of course, how about the crab cakes? Uh, the crab cakes, it came with fries and slaw. And on this one, you know, you can choose if you want one crab cake, two crab cakes, whatever you want. They'll they'll work with you. They'll uh, tailor your order to, to what you want. Now, this restaurant is open for breakfast, lunch, and supper. And so I would go there for breakfast. <laughs> And this is, guys, this is the shrimp and grits. I got this a few times, actually. Now, yeah, grits is a southern thing. Uh, and to be quite honest, most of my life, I wouldn't touch them. <laughs> That's good. Ooh, mm. But uh, here in the last few years, I have decided to open my mind a little bit and try them, and I love it. Uh, the shrimp and grits, if you've, ever been, if you've never tried grits, this is the way to do it. Or at least grab a bite of somebody else's, you know. <laughs> the other thing I had there um, for breakfast was the shrimp creole omelet. That doesn't sound uh, like it'd be too good, but I'm telling you, it was amazing. Uh, it kind of sounded like to me the first time I ever heard of fish tacos. Just didn't sound right, you know. But it's good. <laughs> now, they also have desserts. I did the bananas foster. Absolutely delicious. And uh, that that's kind of a southern thing, too, but not so much anymore. That was really spread. And the other one was the brownie sundae. <laughs> There's a little bit of a story there. Uh, the little guy that was, I guess, manager at the uh, Emeralds, the one that was on, or that is on, Carlton Celebration, um, he was telling me about it. This was early in the week. I had finished my food, and I said, I can't believe this place is crowded as good as the food is, and it's cheap. And he said, oh, he said, people don't know. And he said, but once word gets around, by the end of the week, you'll be standing in line. And he was right. <laughs> well, not too bad. It wasn't bad. But uh, what he had told me was that every day they have special things that are not on the menu. I'm going to show you the menu here in just a second, okay? But, uh, and this was one of them. This one happened to be on Wednesday that they were having it. And he told me ahead of time, he said, uh, come back on Wednesday. And uh, so I did. And the uh, brownie Sunday, where you can see, really, it's, it's enough for two people, really. But, you know, Leah, I ate it. <laughs> uh yeah, so you may want to ask about what specials they're going to have through the week, because if you don't know, it's not uh, not something that's usually on the menu. 
Now, I met there for breakfast one morning with uh, Mick, the Carnival Cruise Line tip-giving soup guy. <laughs> if you don't know who Mick is, Mick is a lot of fun. And he gives some great tips if you're traveling with, cru uh, with Carnival. He can save you a bundle of money. Since I'm mentioning uh, Mick, I'm, I'm going to drop a link to his channel uh, down below in the description. Check him out. He's, he's fun to watch. All right, guys, I'm going to post a menu, and I think that's going to wrap it up. If you enjoy the content, how about a thumbs up? And if you have not subscribed, we invite you to do so. Again, my name is Michael. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.